Hello people, welcome back to Minecrafting's GT Shorty. You may have noticed something. I've got a roof in the house. I'll just show you it from the outside first. Let's get dark. Now uh, it's still obviously I'm still building it, but you know, I thought it'd do it off camera because it's a bit boring. But actually upstairs looks pretty cool. I'm in the middle of moving all my stuff into this. This is gonna be like a storage room. So in here, I've got a something room. Don't know what's going to be in there. This is my bedroom, which I need to sleep now actually. And I've got a little copper chest filled with uh, some treats. I got some seeds. Went around with a hoe, with an iron hoe. Got some seeds. Also, uh, Harry's left me some stuff again, which uh, is kind of useful actually because. Stuff he's left me is quite hard to get hold of. Oh, now this is epic. This is my bathroom. Now, I've, I've added a bath actually, so you just click the button. And out comes your water. You have a nice bath. And then when you're done, click the button again. And out goes your water. Now we'll, we'll get onto some. That's, that's done using a deployer and red power. Oh, Dave! Draw me. So bad at using iron doors. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's using a red power deployer uh, with a water bucket inside. So anyway, today, as promised, we're going to make a quarry. For a quarry, we're going to need a lot of diamonds, <laughs> a hell of a lot of diamonds, as well as our diamond pick, which is in that alchemical chest over there. Yeah, this is why I need to move all my stuff. Right, so it has fully repaired, like fully, fully repaired. So we can use that as part of our quarry. We're going to need some iron, a lot of diamonds, a lot of gold. I actually think we'll need more stuff than that. Um, we need some cobblestone. Luckily I left one in there. I was using a lot of wool to make the flooring, and I've got a lot of wool left. So, um, so this is Harry left me some stuff. He basically left me some cool stuff: some pistons, water bucket, an oil bucket, some panels. This is red power. But he also left me melon seeds and ender pearl and blaze rods. Now, melon seeds only come from dungeons, which is quite useful. He also left me some iron doors. And uh, some blocks of gold, which are going to come in really handy when we uh, condense them. So the way we make uh, quarries is quite simple, really. You need uh, gears, so everything is the next step step up from the gear before. Oh yeah, a lot of diamonds in there. So first, some Be in. Just keep all that. Right, so oh, we're gonna need some sticks. Oh, I've got enough wood for sticks. So make some sticks. I think we need a lot of these actually. For a quarry, we basically need three iron gears, two gold gears, and two diamond gears. But for the diamond gears, you need iron gears. For the gold gears, you need iron gears. For the diamond gears, you need gold gears. And so, to make an iron gear, you put a stone gear surrounding an iron, wooden gear, and wooden gear is just sticks. So, the way. How many wooden gears do we need to make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven wooden gears. So, that'll be enough sticks, I think. Uh no. We need way more sticks than that. Right. Now that is enough gears. I need to make them into stone gears. I 
now into iron gears so they all need to be iron gears so I don't have enough iron I need four more iron so can we transmit them? no we can't alright well let's get some, some more iron in the chest uh, let's just get whoa we're running late let's just get one and we can condense them with some of our gold blocks. Because if you remember, one gold made like eight iron, so a gold block will make loads. Oh, yeah! Like a stack. In a bit. Right. Last one. So now we need three iron gears. And the rest need to be turned into gold gears. And then we need two gold gears. And the rest need to be turned into diamond gears. Need two diamond gears. Yay! So now I think we have the recipe. Oh, and a bit of redstone, which we don't know. Well, actually, I think it's in the transmutation table. Oh no, it's a uh, fuel, isn't it? Aha! <laughs> Found another way to get to them. Let's just take one for now. Actually, let's take two. I don't know why. I'll just take two. Um, right. So the redstone is at the top. Oh no, let's use um, this cool question mark button. So it's redstone. Which have we got there? Iron gears. Gold gears. Diamond gears. And a diamond pick. Yay! No, we are not making another one. This is awesome. So the way it works is you basically plonk it down and it will set out an area and it will just dig that area straight down. Like straight down. Um need an iron pick. Let's take it up. I don't know if that's the iron but it's on the safe side. I think we've got one. Uh or not. Uh, I've got to make a pick. Let's not make a diamond one. Let's just make an iron one. Let's pick it up. This is a build craft machine, so we need build craft pipes. Now, if you notice, the thing that it made was five blocks high. That means we need to dig five blocks underground. But what I haven't showed you yet is this awesome coke oven thing so basically the cold coke comes out of the side and the uh, creosote oil comes out of the bottom and so I think the creosote oil is in this chest yeah oh got stacked and the cold coke is in this chest I think it might have run out of coal oh, no. there is actually another way to make creosote oil which is I know it sounds ridiculous it is to smelt coal I've done some of it there Smelt coal and it will make you uh, two creosote oil. There. So, um, yeah, I did that using Billcraft pipes. Wooden ones with redstone engines to suck out. And then cobblestone ones and stone ones just so that they don't connect at the bottom of me. To um, move it across. And I've made some more cool chests. But anyway, for now, oh, actually, how far under do these things go? You know what, I'm just going to go 10 blocks under, just for safety. But we need, we need to go back this way. We need um, these things called landmarks, because then you can choose where you want to go, uh, where you want your quarry to be. So we need just three. So they involve redstone torches with lapis on top. So, um some redstone torches oh. 
Oh, anyway. Right. They get a landmark. They are quite expensive, but it's worth it. So quarries can go 64 by 64. That's their max. Uh, but we don't want that. We want a quarry down straight underneath the house. Because I've got plans for the uh, underfloor of the house. So we need a pick. Probably need a shovel. Um, I can't see. I didn't think we had a shovel. No. Let's take a sword. Uh, we don't have a shovel, so make ourselves some nice shovel with our two remaining sticks and an iron shovel. Right, so we've got our quarry, we've got our pit, we've got our shovel. So I'm just basically, after this one block, I'm just going to dig ten straight down. So, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then basically just gonna put a landmark here. It does show a little bit of light. Oh god. I'm gonna get back up. Didn't think about this one. Ah uh, Oops. Um, right, <laughs> but actually, we need them one wider. Changing the subject. So, you will actually want them one wider. So, we'll put one there. And I'm gonna have to just dig out using steps and then fill it back in. So, when I'm at the top, up there, I'll see you. Hello, welcome back. So, I've done, I've got my landmarks. Uh, ten down, uh, one outside of the floor, and basically what you do is you just plop your quarry next to the landmarks, and boom, there we have it. Right now I need to pipe the stuff back up, but before I do that, we need uh, power to power this. So there's two ways to do it. You either get steam engines. You can do it with redstone engines, but they're really, really weak. So steam engines are just stone gears, so they're really easy to make, but they use coal. The other way to do it is to get an energy link, and you can hook industrial craft power, uh, and it will output build craft power, because the quarry is a build craft machine. So you need a wooden conductive pipe, some redstone, some advanced alloy, copper cable, and gold gears. We may move on to this, because for advanced alloy, you need a compressor. Now, um, yeah, you need to compress these. So, a compressor is more of an advanced machine. What's happening? I don't know what just happened. Um, <laughs> anyway. Compressor is more of an advanced machine. So it uses a machine block and electronic. Also, oh, it's not actually that advanced. So not this episode, but in the next episode, we'll um I think build a compressor. Be good fun. But um for now, I'm gonna get back up there and I'll see you when I'm up. So I had a little sleep and we're back. Right. So. That's better. Right. So we're back up. We won't make a compressor this episode, but what we do need to get is build craft pipes pumping into some massive as chest. Now do most of this off camera. I think we'll just get it pumping into let's just say this chest, I don't know. Just somewhere. So I think I believe it was down here. Yeah it was. Oh crap. Mm. I'm hungry. I hollowed out this area and we need to pipe back some. 
pipes, obviously.